Welcome back to Nikki Does. This is a preliminary open PNP slash Panda Placer Bamboo Feeder AS1.1 feeding 0402-0402 parts. And um, this is using using the Bamboo Feeder Auto Vision Feeder class. Hello there down in my little postage stamp corner on my terrible Elite illuminated laptop camera. Um, I'm going to be looking over here a bunch anyway, so in any case, hello and thanks for joining. Um, this is again very preliminary, so I'm sure there are going to be some oopses and things going on the way. I'm going to do a one take video on this. It's actually like the fifth take, and I keep finding little things that aren't working, so we're just going to go for it this time and deal with the fact that some things aren't working correctly. The first thing to know is that the Bamboo Feeder AS1.1, uh, the feed pawl interferes with the end of the with the end of the stroke. So if you left the servo on the entire time, the power onto the servo, I believe you'd burn out the servo. So in any case, Leo has asked that you build uh, either change the actuators that you use or build a different actuator. I chose to build a different actuator. Let's go take a look at that first. Oh, well, before we even do that, let's just look at the uh, about here. And you won't see this, but it's version 2024-04-16. So that's April 16th. You've got to be on a test build or one that's after April 16th to have the bamboo feeder um, class in there. So I went into actuators and I added a new reference actuator and I called mine... Where is it? Bamboo feeder four millimeter advance instead of auto feeder bamboo feeder, and it's you just have to choose the driver as the slot feeder, put in your name, choose a double here, and you're great there. The next thing though is you've got to go over to the slot feeder itself, go into G code, choose that new bamboo feeder four millimeter advance, and you're going to do something a little different with the actuate boolean command. Um, and what you're going to paste in there is, I thought I had it on my clipboard, Let's see if I do, I do. What you're going to paste in there is an M611 to energize the servo's motor, that cha whatever channel you're going to choose, in my case it's 110. Then you're going to do the M600 N110 F4 to do the feed. Then you're going to do M611 and de-energize the motor with the S0. So you've got, you have an M611 S1 followed by a feed, then an S M611 S0, and that should keep the motor from overheating. That is the only thing I believe you need to do in the, uh, uh oh, there we go, in the um, head mount in the um, feeder here. I'm sorry, in the G code for the feeder actuator. All right. So now back to the feeders themselves. Now if you hit plus, if you're on the proper version and you hit plus, you should have a bamboo feeder auto vision option, which I know you're not seeing this, but um, in the select feeder, the bottom one in my view is bamboo feeder auto vision. So what you'll want to do, let's go look at that feeder from the top cam here. Let's, I think it might be over right now. Yeah. So this, these are our 402 parts. You've got parts every two millimeter, millimeters and you've got sprocket holes every four millimeters. So that's reflected here, parts in two, sprocket feed in four. Um, I can reset the feed count, no big deal. Now, uh, the first thing you've got to do is pick your Z height. So go down and probe your Z height, mine is minus 21.4 and that works great. The rest of this stuff doesn't matter. It's going to be auto set by the vision system. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to work correctly or not, but um, we'll see. Come down here to your actuator, make sure you've chosen the 4 millimeter advance, and type in the um, feeder board and channel that you're on. I'm on board 1 and channel 10. They're both zero based, so expect that you're, you know, count your board up and your channel up. You've got up to 13 channels, so this could be as high as 12, like 112 or 012. Um, and I suppose you can just test feed here. And there we go, we bounced some parts out, which is kind of a bummer, but um, we're looking pretty good. We've got an empty pocket where it should be empty, and then we have two pockets ready. The way this is supposed to work is that it's going to go pick this first part here, 
and then it's going to pick the second part and then it'll advance the feeder. So we should be able to do two full picks without advancing the feeder. Well, one full pick and then advance the feeder and then do a second, I don't know. Anyway, let's preview, preview the vision features. I've centered over the frontmost pocket and see this I think is a problem. I, I don't want it to um, pick that one. I want it to pick these two and I'm not sure how to do that. So I'm gonna be send, having uh, Andrew watch this video and see what he says. We may have some comments in the <laughs> in the video from him. All right, so in any case, I'm gonna say go to this. I'm gonna say auto setup, yes. And it's really as easy as that. If, this, if these were the right pockets, it would be as easy as that. Now I could cut this back a little and it would work just fine, but it really should pick these two. I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong or whatever. So let's see how we do now. Um, let's go ahead and pick one. Now it's got a part and uh, let's go see what it looks like. Let's get some speed over here or some travel. Let's get our bottom cam on, yep, and let's take a look. Let's get some focus. That's a pretty solid pick for an 0402 part. Look at that thing. Well, let's discard that one and see how the next one goes. So let's pick again. This time we shouldn't hear a feed. And we didn't. I'm sorry I was on bottom cam still. And let's go back over to... Uh, I think there's a faster way to move to the camera, by the way, to put the nozzle above the camera. Uh oh, no pick. Well, let's pick another one. We'll have to discard. And again, we have no pick. This is not going to be a great video. It's going to go down in history as one of the best fail videos on the tube. All right. I don't think we got a part. Nope. All right, let's discard that one. I'm going to uh, drop the tension screw, the one that's between between the two, f the right to the left of the behind the pickup window. Let's just tighten that up a bit more. I'm going to test feed it. Oh. Why do I have no parts in there? <laughs> there really? No, there are parts in there. It's just dark in here. All right, uh, let's go pick. I got a part. And I would say that's a good pick right there. I mean, if you can't place with that one, I don't know what you could place with. So let's discard that one and let's try again. Oh yeah, it's going to that front pocket. I forgot that. So it, it did get one, but that's why it's not picking. I did forget that. That it's not going to the right pocket. Right? That's a solid pick. 
Whoops. That's not bad at all, you know? So, yeah, I mean, this is not a, a bad situation. I think this is a great addition to the Panda Placer. And um, in any case, I hope we get some comments on this and everything and hear what we're going to be doing next and what sort of improvements we could do. Thank you for watching. I know it was a bit chaotic, but if you have questions, drop them down in the, in the comments below and um, subscribe so you get notifications. I have been making a fair number of these little videos recently, so uh, yeah, do subscribe and let me know what you think. All right, thanks for watching.